Yo, what's going on? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started with the air brakes. You already know the first thing we do when we get in the seat, put our seatbelt on. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. So we already got our bus up and running. So first thing we're gonna do is our rate of build. So for our rate of build test, we're gonna be pumping down on our service brake. And we're gonna do that until we see our PSI gauge, PSI gauge get to 85 PSI. Then we watching it build from 85 PSI to 100 PSI. And that should be within 45 seconds or less. So we're gonna go ahead and pump that down. And that's 85. Now I'm looking at my watch and that should build in less than 45 seconds. So now that's at 100, less than 45 seconds. So once it gets to 100, that's our cut in. Cut in is at 100. So now we listening for our cut out. So for the cut out, we wanna have, uh, it's kinda hard to get this window open, but you either wanna have your window or your door open and you waiting to hear that swish out there. So your cut out should be between 125 to 130, but our buses may be higher. So again, you can have either your window open or your door open or both. So again, 20 to 45, I'm sorry, 125 to 130, 125 to 130, but our buses may be higher. So that's our cutout right there. Pretty much uh, 140, maybe 139. So that's our cutout. So the next thing we wanna do is our static test. So for our static test, we wanna go ahead and cut our fast idle off. We are gonna let that idle for 30 seconds before we cut our bus off. So in the meantime, if you got anything else on, like your heat, your AC, driver booster fan, whatever it is, you wanna cut that off. Also make sure your door air is on release. This should have already been off, but I'm just gonna hang this up right here. So again, we're giving it 30 seconds. All right, I'll say that's 30 seconds. We're gonna cut it all the way off to our left. <laughs> gonna give it a few seconds now we're gonna cut our bus back on to day run so I'm gonna turn it once to the right so now I'm gonna watch all my lights and sirens to go off I'm gonna mention my ABS light right here make sure that ABS light ABS light come on and go off all right so now the next thing I want to do is make sure that my chalks is down underneath my bus so I'm gonna check right here if my chalk's not right there, they underneath the tire. So my bus is chalked. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is my static test. So for my static test, um, I'm gonna release my parking brake. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover up my service brake. Then I'm gonna release my parking brake. So I'm gonna push down on it. And when I do, I'm gonna see an, an initial or an immediate loss of air pressure. So after that settles, we wait in one minute to see if we lose no more than two PSI in one minute. So again, covering my brake, just in case the bus move. I'm getting ready to press down on my parking brake now. You're gonna see this initial loss. That's our initial loss. Now we waiting one minute to see if we lose no more than two PSI. So at about 32, 21, that's when we started. So 32, 21, looking to see if we lose no more than two PSI.
10 more seconds. So that's uh that's our static test. That's our one minute right there, and we lost no air pressure. So now the next thing we want to do is our apply air pressure. Oh, I'm sorry, our applied pressure test. So now we gonna apply 90 pounds of pressure to our service brake. But since we don't have a gauge on here that tell us what 90 pounds of pressure is, we gonna apply full force all the way down to the floor on our service brake. Once you do that, you're gonna see an initial loss. After that, we're looking to see if we lose no more than three PSI in that one minute. So now I'm getting ready to press down on my service brake. So our initial loss right there. Now we wait in one minute to see if we lose no more than three PSI in one minute. And you wanna have it all the way down at full force. So you don't wanna hear no hissing or nothing. Ten more seconds. All right, that's good. So we lost no air pressure. So that was our applied. So now we're gonna do our low air warning. So for low air warning, we want to pump down on our service brake, and we're gonna be looking up here for our low air light to go from flashing to solid, and that should do that um for state it should come on at no less than 60 psi but our buses may be higher so again i'm gonna start pumping down they're gonna be looking up here for this light to come on it's gonna be blinking then it's gonna stay solid flashing solid so state 60 psi no less than 60 psi but our buses may be higher. So that's 80 PSI, we're gonna write that up in the book. So next thing we have is our uh, parking brake engage or our spring brake test. So we're gonna do the same thing we did for low air warning. We're gonna pump down on our service brake. We're gonna cover our hand over the parking brake for it to pop up. And that should do that between 20 and 45 PSI, but our buses may be higher. Pump it down on it. Up right there. All right, so that is at 55 psi, but again, state is 20 to 45 psi, but our buses may be higher. All right, so now that came on. So, next thing we want to do, we want to start our bus because it's already in day run, so we can go ahead and start our bus. After 30 seconds, we're gonna cut on our fast idle. In the meantime, we can be doing everything else. So we could be setting up our mirrors, setting our mirrors, just in case we ain't did that already. Go ahead and set up our mirrors. We can set up these two. So that's about 30 seconds right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut on my fast idle. Cut on my flashes. Cut on the F, because it's hot. Put my door air to normal. And then once my bus reaches 90 PSI, 90 PSI or after, then I can get out and remove my chalks because we cannot remove our chalks anywhere less than 90 psi because you cannot operate a commercial vehicle under 90 psi so i'm gonna go on here i'm gonna go in and grab my chalks oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel because my my chalk's probably stuck underneath my wheel. I'm gonna turn it just to get them get them loose. Get back up in the seat. Adjust my seat back up. And then, again, like I said, always put your seat belt on when you're in the seat. All right, so now that's good. I already got my mirror set. My bus just cut out. I'm gonna turn my wheel back straight. All right, so the next test we're gonna be doing is next test we're gonna be doing is our interlock test so if our interlock test I'm sorry all right so if our interlock test we're gonna release our parking brake and put our bus in drive then we're gonna inch up just a little bit once we do we're gonna open up our doors we're gonna keep your foot on the brake until your door is completely open then once it's open you're gonna take your foot off the brake then you're gonna step on your accelerator and when you do you should have no revving in your engine whatsoever. No increase in RPMs. It should complete, be completely disengaged from the engine. We're going to do that. <clears throat> We're going to do that for the front door. We're going to close the door, move up a little bit again, do the same thing for the back door. Then we're going to move up again, do the same thing for both doors. So here we go. So I'm covering my brakes. I'm about to release the parking brake. Release my parking brake. Put it in drive. Now, I'm going to blow my horn just in case it's somebody outside. We don't see him. We're going to let them know we're moving the bus. So, I'm going to blow my horn. Now, I'm moving forward. That's that's good enough. I'm going to open up my door. Now, once my door is all the way open, I can take my foot off the brake. Now, I'm going to press on my accelerator. Completely disengaged. No increase in RPMs. Completely disengaged. Now, I'm going to put my foot back on the brake. I'm gonna close my door. Door is closed. Now to disengage my parking brake, I'm gonna step on my brake because right now it's still engaged until I press on my service brake. Service brake. So now pressing on it, it's disengaged. I'm gonna move up a little bit again. Now I'm gonna stop. Now I'm open up my back door. Now that my back door is open, I'm going ahead and take my foot off my brake. Press on my service, my uh, accelerator again. Again, same thing. No increase in RPMs, no revving. It's completely disengaged from the engine. Now, I'm gonna cover my brake again. I'm get ready to close my rear door. All right, so again, to disengage that interlock, you wanna press on your service, on your service brake because again, if I step on my accelerator, my interlocks are still engaged until I disengage them by pressing on the service brake. All right, so I'm gonna press on it to disengage them. Now I'm gonna move up a little bit again. All right, now I'm gonna open up both doors. Now to open up both doors, you can either push this switch all the way to the front or all the way to the back, so. Now we got both doors open. Once both doors open, I can take my foot off the service brake and I'm gonna do the same thing. No increase in RPMs, no revving, is completely disengaged from the engine. So now I'm gonna cover my brake again, close my doors. All right, they both closed. So we done with interlocks. Now the next thing we are gonna do is our service brake test. So for the service brake test, all I wanna do is disengage my interlocks again, and I'm gonna let the bus roll, and it's gonna idle at five miles an hour. Once I get to five miles an hour, I'm gonna firmly press on my service brake, with two hands on the steering wheel, and there should be no excessive tug or pull on the steering wheel. Um, so since this is a, a, a 20 inch steering wheel, we are only allowed two inches or 10 degrees of play. So when we do step on uh, our service brake, we're looking for no excessive tug or pull in any direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Moving up, letting my bus get up to five miles an hour. Firmly step on my brake. So there was no excessive tug or pull in any direction. So that's good. Next thing I'm gonna do is my parking brake hold. 
So for parking brake hold, I'm gonna go ahead and engage my parking brake. So I'm gonna pull this up. So with my bus still in drive, I'm gonna gently press on my accelerator so that I hear revving in the engine, but you wanna just tap on it. You don't wanna press it all the way down. You just wanna tap on it to where you hear revving, but your parking brake still hold the bus. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You heard it. So that's good. So we hear revving in the engine, but the parking brake hold it. So our last and our final test is our kneeling slash ramp test. So for that one, we already got our bus in park. Now we want to put it in neutral. So then the next thing we want to do is kneel the bus. So we're going to hold it down to kneel it. Now, once it's all the way kneeled, we're going to open up the door. So we always want to kneel the bus before we open up the door because we don't want to kneel it or raise it when the door open and then somebody step on and miss time they step and then now they end up tripping and they facing your lap or something like that. So we don't want to do that. So we got that open. Next thing we want to do, we want to give power to the ramp. So that light on and then you want to hold it up to deploy it. Same thing as though you want to, you want to hold it up or hold it down. So we're going to hold it up to deploy. So now we're going to get out and we're going to check, check our ramp and check everything else. But before you do that, you want to make sure all your lights is on. So right down here, we got your turn signals and then you got your high beam light. So a lot of these buses is kind of hard to tell which which mode your bus in. You can kind of see this arrow, but a lot of buses, they faded. So what I do is right here, you got a little high beam light. They look exactly just like that. So I click on this middle button right here on the floor because that, that's what your high beams are. So if you click on it and it don't come on, that means you're not in the gear where your headlights is on. So I'm gonna turn it one more to the right. So now you see how they on. So if I click on this button, if I click on that middle button on the floor and this come on and off, that's how you know your headlights on. So when it's off, your low beams is on. When it's on, that means your low beams and your high beams on. So we don't need the high beams on, so just make sure that on. Now we're gonna get out. And we're gonna check one, make sure our ramp is sturdy. Make sure it's on level ground. We out here, we checking our kneeling light, checking our ramp light, checking our threshold light, making sure all of them not crack, broken or missing. Make sure your kneeling light your ramp light is amber in color you know no wires showing go ahead checking your four-way flashes slash turn signal make sure that's not crack broken and missing it's amber in color no wire showing as well as well as your two inside threshold lights as well they clear in color not crack broken and missing they secure to the bus no wires showing we go ahead get back in our seat again when we in the seat, we want to have our seatbelt on. So we want to do everything that we just did in reverse. So now we want to stow it. So we're going to hold it down to stow it. All right. So then the next thing we want to do is turn off our power. Once that go off, then we can close our door. Because remember, we don't want to raise and kneel the bus with the door open. So next we're going to do, we're going to raise our bus. So to raise it, all you got to do is hit this button up one time. Raising it. Now, if we was getting out of here and getting on our way, we'll release our parking brake. We'll put it in drive. We'll get on up out of here. But I'm going to back it back up into the spot. So I'm going to put it in... Um, Put it in reverse. Since I'm backing up, I'm gonna blow two times. And we're gonna back the bus up.
desire breaks.